I bought these adorable glasses. Look at them, I've worn them before. Aren't they cute? I love the shape. But I thought how cute they would look all with bling on them. So I thought that's what I would do today. I'm in the mood to blingify these glasses. I've never done this before, so I'm gonna go through it step by step and how I'm gonna lay out the bling on these cute little glasses. Let's get started. So I contacted my friend Jenny, who is the queen of bling. She does Cardi B's nails. And I asked her to send some of the stuff that she developed. It's beautiful. So I've got the gems and the product that makes it stick. So I thought we would do it on the glasses. Okay, so here's what she sent me. Oh, I need some glasses <laughs> so I can see. I'll get my old ugly ones on. So Jenny sent me these Swarovski crystals. And I was going to put them on nails and I still might save some for nails. But I just wanted to see what she sent. Look at those, aren't they pretty? And then I ordered Swarovski's from Amazon and I'll pour them out too. I would like to have had them a little bit tinier, but I'm gonna make these work. Doesn't look like 144, I didn't really count them, but just, they always come in 144, I don't really know why. Okay, so I don't know if I want the giant ones, but I'm gonna put them on here and I'm gonna use this adhesion method. This is Jenny's secret. One is the glue and one is a finisher. So we'll use the glue to adhere the gems. Like I say, I've never done this before, anything other than nails. So we're just gonna have a little fun. I've got an applicator. I was tempted. I'm just gonna, just bear with me. Let me see if this works. I found a little piece of this on the glasses and I wondered if it would actually work. Now we're not gonna use any gel to glue it down, but I bet you I'm gonna get a little on there and see if it does stick. I bet it would. Yeah, look at that. Mmm, it does stick. So you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit in some spots. And it'll just be underneath the gems. Maybe you'll see it, maybe you won't. I don't think it'll come off. Let's try the one side and see if we like that. Put a little bit in there. This is, um, it's Unicorn Flakes by Be Me Beauty Box. Okay, so let's start in this corner. Now, sort of the idea, I wanna balance it. So when I look at my glasses, I do wanna have Whatever design I'm doing here, I'm going to duplicate over here so it does look balanced. But I'm gonna start with a big one right where the join is of the glasses part on the other side. So I do think this is neat. See that? I'm gonna start with that one. Now I do have, Jenny sent me her um, Jenny Secret, what do you call this? Waxing tool where you can pick up the gems. This is crucial, you gotta have one of these. You can't do it with tweezers and stuff. It'll just go flying across the room. It just does not work. And the other end is really nice because you can use that for moving it around. So I'm gonna take this guy here. I'm gonna test it and see. Oh, that looks pretty. So I can move it around. I want it to go like that. Maybe we want it to go like that. That actually might be pretty. I think I like that where it's kind of lined up with the end there. So this will be my starting point. So I'm gonna find a big gem and use that as my starting point, And then I can spread out and do some gems beyond that. Okay, so I'll put that gem there and let's get the Jenny Secret glue. And I think it was right about there. Just put a little dab, a little dab will do ya. So when you put that guy on there, make sure you're lining the point up. That's what I wanna do anyway. I'm gonna make sure that point is lined up with the end point there. And I'm just holding it and pressing it there. That looks like it's gonna stick. And I'm just gonna, I got some clear ones here, clear gems, and I'm just gonna see if there's enough that I can put around. But I am gonna save some for my other side, just because I do wanna duplicate it on the other side. It's still in a good spot. I didn't get very many of these ones. They came in the package, so just make sure that I have enough. And let me see the Swarovskis I bought from Amazon. Let me add a couple of those. 
Those are flat backs. Make sure you get the flat backs too because you want it to stick. I don't know if there's enough glue there, but those are pretty. I like those. Okay, so the glue doesn't set up super fast, which is good. It gives you time to put your gems down. So I'm gonna paint some more glue on there and I'm gonna add a whole bunch of gems. Okay, now I've got a good assortment on there. I really like that shaping up. So I'm gonna use number two of Jenny's Secret and that is a crystal finisher and that is to set the glue. So I'm gonna put that on there now, but I don't think you're supposed to put it on the gems, put it around where the glue is. So once it hits the glue, it will set that glue. So I'm just going to do that now. I don't think it hurts the gems at all actually. Once you establish where you want them, of course, that's when you want to use your finisher. You're sort of dabbing on the areas around the gem that you put on there. I feared the glue might set up a little faster, but I'm glad to say that it doesn't. So it gives you time to shape and put them where you want them. So like if you change your mind at the last second, you can still shape it. That would be the difference between like crazy glue or nail glue. It sets up pretty quick, but this gives you time to think and move things around. I like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a whole bunch more and sort of create the style. They're looking pretty cute. I like them. pretty. That went down really good. Now I'm getting the finisher and I am dabbing it in around the jewels to set those gems. You can still move them a little bit too. They have a lot of give time which is really great. Those glasses didn't cost too much either. They're around $30, $35 or something. I mean it's if I ruined them then that's you know a waste but I was pretty confident it would look good. I do have some glasses that like that, but they were the gems kind of fell off. So this, I am I can fix them up any time if they fall off, but I'm pretty confident they're gonna stay on pretty good. I'll have to let you guys know how they do. Okay, I'm liking it. Only thing I can say, I haven't done it yet, but just make sure you don't drop any glue on the glass, because that probably would ruin it. I don't think you could get it off. Okay, so let's just finish up that corner. I'm really liking the look. Glue is sticking really good. Now as the glasses get wider, as the frame gets wider, I can put two in there. I don't have to. I mean, you're just causing the illusion of bling as you're wearing the glasses, so you wouldn't have to be covering every bit of the plastic. You just want to catch that pretty sparkle when you're wearing your glasses. Very cute. Okay, let me set those. I really like where those landed. That just sets up the crystal. Aww, that's cute. I think I have enough to go all the way around. 
I'm pretty sure, but to be sure, I, I would hate to go all the way around. And then when I do that side, I didn't have enough to complete. So I'm going to copy what I've done here on the other side, and then I can keep adding inward as I can afford the gem. So I'm going to do that now. super super tiny ones I'm just gonna put a couple in here and then I think I'm done so to make sure they're even when you do it well I think that looks pretty it'll be a little different but let's do a reveal shot of the glasses mm -hmm. adorable and I can see them when I look at you guys and I've got lots of bling left over I think I'll do my nails and thank you Jenny for sending me this I love it you blinged out my glasses and soon to bling out my nails you can also check out some more bling in my spring yellow flowers mm -hmm. 